Hi, welcome back to another edition of ND Lax TV. Today's drill is kind of an updated version of a drill that we probably did eight years ago with Andrew Gleason, and now we're doing an updated version with uh, Eddie Glazner, who was a captain for us uh, this past season. It's just a, bit, a little bit better camera angle, and it gives a little bit more detail and can articulate a little bit more about what we're looking for in this drill. So let's look at the schematic, and I'll, I'll draw out and you'll be able to see it a little bit better on the video. But really, there's one person in the drill, so obviously you can get a lot of reps. You put people all over the field. As you know, we have our defensemen play the roles of the offensive players, so you don't have to, everybody have to be on the goal. So you just put everyone out in space. So what you're gonna see when you see the video is we're asking D1 here, he's in the slide roll. And we're, what you'll see on the video is him do the choreography and the footwork through a variety of slide decisions and situations where he finds himself on the field. Now it takes, you gotta be creative. You have to be able to visualize yourself in this space because there's no offensive players in the drill. You're just told where you are in space. So we'll ask him to do, hey, you're gonna make a slide to a dodge from X. Or we're gonna ask you to kind of show and not go. Or we're gonna ask you to go halfway quickly and then recover back. So he might do four or five different slide footwork or non-slide footwork in this one quadrant, and then he'll move, rotate to this second quadrant here. Now he'll be dealing with, you know, a slide right up the middle of the field, or a show, recover, and go. Or guy gets beat late, and he's got to go almost perpendicular to the sideline. And then he'll move over to the third quadrant, and do some of those same footwork and approaches and recoveries there, and then he'll move to the fourth quadrant and again, do those same things. And we'll articulate to him what we want him to do. And this drill, each person will get about a 60 second rep. And by the end, he'll be really tired, and that's what we're trying to teach our guys. You, you're playing against a, a team that possesses the ball for long periods of time, you better have conditioning and footwork and discipline and understand the choreography of what it means to be a good off-ball defenseman and in this situation, what it means to be a good crease defenseman. So he'll move throughout these four quadrants and then you'll have a teammate or a coach there and he'll have a ball and when he gets to the last quadrant, you'll dribble out a ball and he'll scoop and escape. So that's the end of the drill. And so as he moves through these four quadrants, he probably can get anywhere from 10 to 20 different slides, approaches, half slides, show and no go. And by the end, he'll have put himself and his body into some really tough situations. But what, you know, what I hope you'll see from the video is the great balance that the defender shows, how he doesn't get his way too far over his feet, that he's always looking back and sneaking a peek back to his, to his interior role. This, this, you know, visualizing an offensive player being right on the front porch there. So let's let's reiterate that. And I think the video, you'll really get to see. I don't think the schematic is a great example of what the drill will show, but when you see the video, I think you'll totally get it. Again, we start with, you're by yourself in this drill with a teammate who has a ball. So you have to visualize where you are on the field and visualize the variety of situations you may find yourself in as a crease defender. Start in a great stance. If you start in a great stance, you have the opportunity to finish in a great stance. A really credo of our of our defense. So staying athletic, not getting standing up straight, knocking your knees, stand locking your knees up. You know your footwork and your angles. I think that's really important as you're trying to have an understanding of what's going on in the crease and evaluating your slide decision. You got to have great footwork. And you have to have the sense of the angle of your approach. Balance your weight. One of the things that we're trying not to teach when you're finishing a slide or deciding not to slide that your weight doesn't get too shifted over your feet. And I think in the video you'll see how well that defender, Eddie Glazner, stays balanced in that role. It's a great conditioning drill. You're going for 60 seconds, you get two or three reps of those. And again, this is realistic conditioning. This is not you on hand line telling your players to run up and down the field. This is realistic game situation conditioning. And then again, your agility when you're in that role of the slide man. So again, an updated version, I'm calling the remix version because it's eight or nine years old from the original one that, that we did. I had much more hair back then and probably a lot skinnier. But again, I think this the view of this, because it's an aerial view, 
It would be really helpful for you teaching you guys how to play great off-ball defense. Thanks for watching. Look out for more videos this fall from ND Lax TV. Go Irish.